Let's have a quick look at unboxing single directory components. Single directory components, I think, is the the biggest change in Drupal teaming since since we uh, brought Twig in about ten years ago. This is this is this is huge. I think um, this allows us to have all the, the parts of a component in one single directory. So if you've got a card component, you'll have your card.css, card.js, uh, card.twig and whatever else that card component needs all in the same directory. So you don't end up with uh, one directory for CSS, uh, one directory for JavaScript, and another directory for your templates. And you know, the, the developer experience and ergonomics of this, I think, are are, are, are fantastic. What I've done here is uh, I've, I've created a content type. The reason I've created a content type, actually, instead of something like paragraphs or blocks, that is that I'm, I'm working purely with Drupal Core just because I was doing some uh, uh, a core contribution on the umami uh, distribution here so i've created a content type called uh, call to action and call to action content type has three very simple fields it's got the title field body field and a field called a uh, field called to action which is just uh, a link field so if we create a call to action node uh, rendered it using the umami team it just renders like this so it's you know standard enough it just a, the, the node template renders the content variable the content variable renders the body field and the, the call to action field. Um, and we can see that here. So this is just using the general node.html.twig file that comes with the umami team. So if, if we were to create a, a custom um, file for this, so let's say, uh, where am I? So it's this file here. Let's say we were to rename this to node uh, call to action. and we clear the cache. We'll see then that, that this changes to using the, well, not just yet. This has changed now and it's, it's now using the node call to action.html.twig file inside the umami team that we just created a moment ago. So within a call to action, let's say, if, if, again, if this was more of a paragraph type or, or a block type or something like, like that, or you know maybe you know, a commerce order for a card or something, we probably wouldn't have our display submitted items showing. We probably don't need most of the things that are in here. I don't need a link because that will be in the in the link field itself. Um, I'm missing this closing H2. And we don't need any of these. Okay, so a label being a required field, we, we know we need that. And I'm going to say, let's get rid of this and put in div dot uh, call to action uh, body. And this can have content dot body. And then we're also going to have um, call to action link. All this autocomplete is coming from uh, um, uh, GitHub Copilot, which I got last week and I, I find it quite nice. So that was the call to action field we had. Okay. Oh, I'm close the div. And I suppose you might have put a title around as well. So div dot uh, call to action title. Okay, so this should actually we don't need this. We're gonna remove this library definition. We'll hopefully see in a few minutes why we're doing that. Uh, create a time, I'm not worried about this for now either. Okay, so this should mean that the, the front end will look the same as what is here, except we'll basically be missing this uh, submitted by information. Okay, and that's all very standard, you know, as what, what you'd expect from a, a Drupal template and, 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 and basic enough um, Drupal teaming. So if we want then to create a, a, a single directory component from this, what we can do is we can take everything that's, uh, well, not everything, let's say we'll just take from here down. We'll take all these items from the node call to action uh, template and up here in our components directory. So you, you, you create a directory, you call it components. And I've inside that I've created one called content that I've put in. This is a, 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 um, a merge request I've opened in against Drupal core at the moment. You have a card rendered as a component and card common, card old for Umami just as demos for how you can use single directory components. So I'm going to put a, a new one in here. So this is going to be called a uh, call to action uh, slash call to 
action dot twig. And inside this twig file, I'm going to place the content from the uh, the node twig file. Now, if I uh, let's see, I'll clear the cache. What we're going to see here, of course, is that this is all going to be empty. And the reason this is all going to be empty is because we've removed everything from the node twig file. So what we need to do now is tell the node twig file to include uh, umami uh, call to action. And then this will, this will drop itself from this template directory here up to the components directory and find the call to action component and use the items that it finds in here for a label and content body and field call to action. Or at least that's what should happen. So we refresh this page. Uh, umami call to action is not defined. Okay, maybe we need to clear the cache again. Oh, no, it is not, it's not defined. I know why it's not defined. When you create your component, you've got your twig file, you also must have a YAML file with the same name that says, uh, you know, it, it defines the, 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 the uh, properties of this, of this component. So let's say this one here is going to be called a uh, call to action. Uh, the description will be call to action with a title and a link. Uh, these are all fine, I think, and we don't need this library dependency here. Now we should be able to clear the cache and that should pick up our new call to action component. Great, so now we've we've got this, which is uh, the same as what we saw when this was a node, except there'll be one little difference here, and that is that you can see here, it's using the node call to action template, and that template then goes and finds the component template, and the component then starts here with this little emoji. So this is a little baguette, and you can see it it uh, ends here. These emojis are great because each each component will have a different emoji, and it makes it very easy to see in your in your HTML where one component starts and then where it ends. So this, that's nice. That's our, our single directory component completed. Um, let's 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 say that we want this to be a reusable component. So here it's working for a content type call, call to action, but we might also want it to be used for if there was a call to action inside a, you know, a product on the commerce uh, page or there was a, a building, not building block, a, a layout builder block or a, a paragraph type or something. So we, we want, you know, lots of different templates to be able to use this same component. So to do that, let's, what we'll do is um, come back to our call to action file. Our label here, we change this and we call this CTA, uh, call it CTA title. And our content body, let's call that CTA body. And our link here, we'll call this uh, CTA link. Now, if we come back and refresh the page, this should all be gone again. <clears throat> probably refresh the page, clear the cache. Okay, so that's all gone again. To get it back in, we come back to our node call to action html.twig file, and we're going to say we want to include umami uh, call to action component, but we want to do that with CTA title will be our uh, the node label. CTA body will be content dot body, and CTA link will be uh, content dot field call to action. Now we should have this back for ourselves. Here we go. So we got our title, our body, and our our CTA. Um, if you're rendering this in, in, in anywhere, just on a one-off base, and you want the hard code values into it, you can also do that. So if this was, I don't know, maybe in a in a footer or something like that, you might say, um, uh, sign up for our um, mailing list, just as an example, refresh. So you can override things then on a, on a, on a component by component basis. If you if you want, one of the cool things about um, 
these components then is that you don't need to declare a library like at the moment we declare a library for card and a library for full view mode and a library for you know each paragraph type we have and things like that uh single directory components sdc automatically declares libraries for us so if i put in a file here called uh call to action.js and inside that i console log um call to action sdc component i should be able to clear the cache and refresh my page and we should see a console log of the of that javascript item Hang on now. yeah call to action sdc component so whatever your know, drupal uh, JavaScript you want to put in here you're making sure you're using your behaviors and things like that you can uh, same should be true if we put in a CSS file so call to action.css um, and we'll give this a class of call to action here now I, I don't really care what this looks like so I'm not going to spend any time actually um, going through this but let's just say aquamarine as a background color for an example and clear this cache again um okay the css isn't picking up there for some reason you know i i, I could debug this a bit more but i'm, I'm not going to get into it it's kind of we can <laughs> we can see it work with the javascript i don't know why it didn't work with the css um i'll have to yeah it, it, it sh sh should have worked so that that's we'll, we'll, we'll skip on from that so let's then look at this as, as an example of so now we've got a generic component with generic variables so any template can can use this now so you, what you might do is you might want to remove all these um items here that are specific to, to the node template and just have call to action what, what what i would normally do with this kind of a thing as well would be do something like um instead of classes here and i i think sdc has i don't know maybe it's attributes we'll, we'll, I, I think we could do something like a uh, let's call this a call to action uh classes i'd say something like this and render call to action classes and then i, I don't even know if this will work out but but this is the kind of thing i, I would work towards doing set a uh, call to action classes equals call to action classes merge um custom classes something like that um let's just see that, does that give us the class we want here let's clear the cache and, and again like i said I'm, I'm not sure if this this actually will work or not but it's the kind of thing i i, I do on other custom components that I'd create um now we're getting all of the classes there I don't want all of those um what what I was what I, anyway what, what I was aiming to do was that we you know, we create a, a custom variable call uh, call to action classes and then when you render that from this template here we would set a uh, custom classes equals and then this could be call to action uh, dash dash node so we know that this is a call to action coming from a node and a different template could have that but coming from a paragraph or you could have different values in inside here to, you know for whether it has an image or it does, doesn't have an image so what i'd hope then is that the classes that would get output then would be call to action and then merge in our custom classes call to action node and things like that um, that looks like it doesn't work exactly as I wanted. We'll have to look into that a bit. Oh, there's our CSS kicking in now. <laughs> looks like we just needed to clear a cache three times. Um, oh, it did work. So now we've got only call to action and call to action node. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty nice because that, that would allow you to have different properties that if the call to action is on a node, uh, you, you might have have it as call to action dark or light or, or, or something like that um another thing we, we can do then with this is that say for example we have a an article template here so this will be something like give it a go and grow your own herbs what you might decide is that at the end of each of these um um uh, articles 
we want to have uh, this component so we'd say include uh, umami call to action uh, with let's see uh, CTA title we called it was going to be so <laughs> I let uh, copilot drive this one CTA body is uh, get the latest updates and CTA oops CTA actually this one will be a little bit different because this will be looking for a uh, a link field which we, we we don't have here you know something that has a, has a url and title so let's just put in the word sub subscribe just to pretend it works now when we come to our uh our where are we going now node template or it's filter only works arrays or traversable got null uh looks like this might need a set custom class Oops classes equals an array of yeah this is this is all a little bit off the top of my head so I'm not sure exactly if this is how we want things to work or not um, and there's our call to action uh, here at, at, at the bottom so that, that that works pretty well I think there's maybe a couple of things we could change and a few things we might tidy up on it but that's that's the basis basics really of a uh, single directory component you create your component in one place and then other templates uh, um, use that as, as as their markup rendering system and their CSS and JavaScript and what they do is just really swap variables around um, to say what equals what equals what from this template to that component you can have variations of it then as well so if, if, if you look at the um, the uh, pull request or the merge request I've opened for Umami for the uh, card view mode, you can see we've got card, card common, and card common alt. So in Umami, a card is something like this. So title, image, and then a read more link. And then we've got two kind of variations of that. We've got the card common, which is this one here, which has the title, then the read more link, then the image, and the card common. All the things called is the image then the title and then the, the recipe so to, to get variations of that you, you you define your card component to say we same as we did a call to action a, a minute ago and then you can um tell your card common component at yaml that it requires the library sdc now this is important it's not umami library anymore it's an sdc library now sdc slash umami dash dash card so it's the card library defined in umami but pulled from SDC let's say um, and it will then get all of the CSS that's in the card template or in the card uh, CSS file and it will add just the override that you need so this margin bottom 1m is the only extra that we, we needed here uh, then it's got its own twig file or uh, the card common alt I think um, it's twig file oh it does have its own twig file as well okay I thought that one was a little bit I thought this one was extending another one, but that's that's kind of how how you create variations of things that you you just um, define it in in the component YAML and then say what libraries are extra libraries it wants to use or or libraries it wants to remove or or whatever. Um, I think that's about it really for un unboxing STC. Thanks so much to uh, everybody who's been who's been working on it. If you want to get some documentation, there's a page here on the the Drupal teaming guide using single directory components uh, lots of uh, headings in it and lots of um, really good examples for how how it, how it all works especially this annotated example component this is a great one for um, showing you all the different parts of of a, a single directory component and how to use them and how how they'll, how they'll work so definitely give give that that a look um, if you want to get involved there's a couple of issues open that we need to get get, get finished and closed to make this uh stable rather than just beta hopefully that will happen in 10.10.2 which will be in six or seven months time uh until then any thoughts any comments um hit me up wherever you want